Hi everyone, welcome to my training on Brightspace for students. My name is Dr. Presley Rankin. I'm a program director here at CityU. I'm currently the manager of the Master of Science in Management and Leadership program. This program is one of the programs that is going online on the new LMS Brightspace this fall. So you will be new to the Brightspace system. You'll be able to log into Brightspace with the E, um, URL mycourses.cityu.edu. Um, you will be getting more information about that this coming week and it will give you the login information. You will use your same login as you do to log into any CityU uh, mail or Blackboard or any of the other CityU um, login places. Once you log in, you're going to come to this home page, this Brightspace home page. You'll notice a few things on this page. You will see the courses that you have available to you for um, whatever quarter it happens to be. There is going to be some um, getting started with Brightspace resources that are available to help you in general with anything you may want to do on the space. You're going to see up here that there is also a course picker that you can see the different courses you may be enrolled in. There is a space where you will be able to see your notifications. So these are message alerts for any messages you may have received. These alerts here are subscription alerts. And then here you will see update alerts for your classes. And these are when something's been updated in the activity feed that you need to pay attention to. You will get a notification there. You also then, the first thing I would suggest doing is go to your profile or click on your name. And you want to go to your profile and you want to set up your profile. It's very simple. You can change your picture, add a tagline, some interests and hobbies. You want to save and close that so you'll have a picture in the LMS. And that's important because it gives us a better sense of community. You can also see here that you have notifications. Notifications allow you to um, add a mobile number and then get different kinds of updates. There will be some that are automatically selected, but you can also choose to customize those. That will help you to be able to keep up to date with whatever is happening in your class. You can always get back to the main screen by clicking here on City University of Seattle. It takes you back to the home screen. Now let's examine actually going into a course. When you click on a course, you will be taken to the City U course. Let's see, here we go. And in that, you will see that there's a different bar here at the top that has different um, things than your home page did, but you still have the main settings here at the top. You'll also see the name of the class. Let's kind of go through this list here. The course home page is what you're looking at now, and that includes a calendar with all upcoming events, the activity feed, which is how your instructor is going to be communicating with the class. Many of these communications from the instructor will allow you to comment on them. So if you have a comment that you want to um, make about the post, you're, you could do that there and interact with your instructor. You'll get your basic instructor information here. You'll also see a list of all the modules in the class and how much of them have you completed. Now what that means is have you actually opened them and read them? So it's more about are you have you gone through the items in those modules the next tab is your course content tab now this is the main and most important tab because this will have the flow of the class you can see that there's a start your course here button now all of these main tabs will also have a corresponding page here to the right this start your course will tell you about reviewing the syllabus the schedule your notification settings and who to contact the next thing you can look at is the course syllabus and schedule, which is here under that tab. Below that tab, you have some sub-tabs. Now, these sub-tabs are the parts of this module that you're going to want to review. In this case, you want to see a more detailed biography of your instructor and then a more detailed biography of the program director. When you've reviewed a tab, you're welcome to, to minimize it again, or you can leave it open. But then when you go to your first week, your first module here, you'll click on that. And again, there will be information here under the main module. You'll want to review that. It shows you the activities that you're going to need to complete during this week. 
gives you an overview of the module. Then, just as in Blackboard, you will have sub-areas that include an introductory video or some other type of content, the required resources that you need. Now, many of these resources are going to be available to you by using the Reading List button or going to the library and looking them up. The reason we're not connecting links anymore is because those proxies change quite frequently. From here going forward, we're going to be more reliant on using the reading list to access the materials you need. You'll see if it says ebook, that means that that book can be available through the library reading list. If we're using some other kind of outside place, such as a website or some other type of non-linkable material that doesn't go through a proxy, then you may see a link to it here. And that's what you see in these different reviews. Then there are going to be recommended resources. These are often going to list some other places that you can go to find a deeper dive into the information that's being presented that week. You will also probably find that these links are also going to eventually be um, off in the reading list. Finally, you'll see this week that you have a assignment to complete. You will see that when you click on this, it says go to the assignments tool. And I will show you that what that looks like. When you go to the assignments tool, you will see the text of the assignment when it's due and then any rubric connected to that assignment. You will then be able to complete the assignment and then add it to this area, put any comments that you may have, and then submit your assignment. So you can see everything is here under that. Back to content. And this is the same as it goes through each module. You'll be able to go down and go through all of the parts of that module and then see what is due for that module. You can also click on the Assignments tab, and that tab will show you all the assignments that will be due in this class. You're going to have a suggested due date when those assignments are due, and you will see that here. You will get reminders from your notification around when those assignments are due. The grading area will show you a list of all the assignments and the grade you've gotten. You'll be able to then look at your assessment and see any feedback that you have. The library button, if you click on this, it will take you to City Use Library. You can find information about your textbooks from Find a Textbook. And then that will log you in to the system. And then it will take you to an area where it will display all the classes you're currently in. In this case, because I'm a program director, I'm in a lot of them. But you can also just type in the class that you're interested in. This class is 521. And you'll go in there and you will see a master list of all of the re resources. This list will be complete and these links will be updated regularly. So you will never have to worry about a broken link in the future. So this will be a page that you'll just want to save and go back to throughout the quarter whenever you have readings to complete. The reading list link is currently not working exactly the way it should. It will soon directly take you to that reading list, but right now they are having some trouble getting that connected. So hopefully that will be connected soon. Finally, this communication area is where you can go to see the class announcements. Now, announcements are not going to be used in the same way in Blackboard. The activity feed is going to be the main way your instructor talks to you about what's going on in the class. However, if there's a longer announcement, that announcement may be here under this Announcements tab. You'll also have a way to access your email, go to a class list, there's instant messages and virtual communication. These will connect to these notifications up here. There is a help area where you can get help, APA, Ask a Librarian, Smart Thinking, um, any of the CityU help features will be available here, including resources for getting started and Brightspace help. Hopefully that has made it a little bit more clear on what you will be doing. Remember, you will have in the course content area connections that will connect you to everything that you need to do in each of these modules. Please contact your program director if you have any questions. Thank you.